ahead, that was a great Snapchat, great advice. Everybody go and check out 10 cars Snapchat now. Hey, what's going on guys? Just got back from a run, 5.5K, hard track set. I get asked a lot, how am I supposed to go about realizing my dream? How is it gonna happen? Where am I gonna get the money? How am I gonna meet these types of people? How am I gonna find out that sort of information? How, how, how? Well, I gotta tell you, you don't wanna know how. That makes life so boring and you know it. You wouldn't pay money to go watch a soccer game if you knew how the game was gonna turn out. If you knew who scored and how many penalties the other team got, you wouldn't go pay money to go watch a fight if you already knew who won and what round they won and, and how they won. Was it knockout or by decision? Like you wouldn't pay money to go watch that stuff because it's not exciting. And we're all about living exciting lives here on the Fruit Living Channel. So because we want to live an exciting life, we also want some mystery. We want some sort of unknown, the, the, the fascination of discovery. We want to discover things as we go. We don't want to know everything. We don't want to know the how. It makes it quite boring indeed. So that's why it's so helpful to say, you know what, I'm going to stop looking outside for the answers. I'm going to stop looking outside myself for the answers and just go within. Well, how do I want to feel? How do I want to feel? That's the only how you gotta ask yourself. How do I want to feel? And chances are you'll say things like, I wanna feel happy, I wanna feel excited, I wanna feel fascinated, I wanna feel important, I wanna feel rewarded, I wanna feel fulfilled, I wanna feel like I'm, I'm here on my, doing, leaving my mark on the planet, I wanna feel like I'm living my life purpose, I wanna feel helpful, I wanna feel like I'm being helped as well, I wanna feel supported, I wanna feel like nobody's casting any pity on me, I wanna feel, I wanna feel just, totally radiant, I want to feel healthy, I want to feel stunning and light and fresh and energetic. That's how you probably want to feel. That's probably how you want to feel. Now, as to how about going about doing that, you can literally snap into it. A lot of you don't want to hear that. Ted, you can't just change how you feel and snap. If someone paid me $1,000 right now to act depressed for the day, I could do it. I wouldn't want to do it, I don't think. I don't, I'm not sure even if I would do it, act depressed for an entire day for 1000 bucks because I know how much mood really affects reality. But if someone paid me to perhaps act frustrated for 1000 bucks for a day, I could be frustrated all day long. You want to see me frustrated, I can be frustrated. You just pay me the money and I'll snap into it. Same thing. If someone says, hey, come along, they offer you a million bucks to be, to be uh, excited for the day. You know how to be excited. You know how to be excited. You just think up something, you set a date in the future for some, some event, Woodstock Fruit Festival perhaps, and you just start thinking about, oh my God, I'm freaking pumped, you're gonna meet all these people, you're gonna experience all these things. You know how to feel excited. Or you go out looking for a puppy maybe from, from, the, from the orphanage, or you go out and you go looking for a new laptop or something. You know how to get yourself excited. And you also know how to get yourself feeling totally, totally um, like, holy crap, like this is amazing. You know how to feel that. You go skydiving, you go cliff jumping, you go hiking up to the top of this amazing view and you walk over to the edge of the cliff just to feel like, oh my God, like you know how to snap into these certain emotions. There's certain things you can do. There's certain things you can think about. There's certain people you can call. There's certain people you can get on Skype. There's certain people you can send an email to just thanking them, thanking them, thanking them for all that they've done for you. That makes you feel so good. Instead of wondering how to go about achieving your dreams, how, how to go about achieving what you really want to do in life, whether it's open up a certain retreat center, or whether it's uh, earn you know, $300,000 a year, or whether it's to win a race, or whether it's to raise a family, whatever your goal and dream and desire is. Maybe it's to be a YouTuber, maybe it's to quit your nine to five and just be a digital nomad. Maybe that's your goal, maybe that's your dream. Or maybe you wanna be a dancer, maybe you wanna be a musician. Again, think, how do I want to feel? How would that musician feel? How would that dancer feel? How would that mother, how would that father feel? How would that boyfriend, how would that girlfriend feel? How would that partner feel? And then start feeling like that now. I'm not telling you to do this by the way. I'm just revealing what you would already be doing if you did want to be the certain person you say you want to be. If you say that you really want to quit your nine to five, then are you acting like and are you feeling like someone who's in a nine to five? Or are you acting and feeling and talking like someone who doesn't have a 9 to 5? Because that's how I acted for a long time. I acted like I didn't have a 9 to 5 and eventually, boom, didn't have a 9 to 5. Because that feeling that you have, your reality warps around that. Your reality gets created from that feeling. That feeling molds your reality. So catch the mood 
and the world will be created from that mood. You gotta catch the mood. Find out what mood that person would be in and then just enter that mood at will. Freedom of choice, you can choose how you want to feel because you can choose what thoughts you think because you can choose where you focus. So wherever you're focusing, that's really gonna determine what sort of thoughts you think. Now you don't need to be focusing on something on the outside. I don't need to be focusing on this Canon camera right here with this lens, this is Canon zoom lens 4.2X. I don't need to focus on something outside of myself. I can focus on the visualization of me crossing the finish line. I can focus on me writing the check for $10 million. I can focus on me being with my lovely partner. I can focus on me raising children, just in my imagination. And it feels so good to imagine those things. It really does feel so good to imagine those things. So because I get rewarded by thinking about those things, I'm gonna more likely be, I'm, I'm gonna be much more likely to do them more often. It's gotten to me from where I was and where I am now. I just totally imagine living in the tropics. I totally imagine being here 365 days a year. It's now the 11th or 12th month as we speak, being away from Canada. And I still don't know how it's possible. How am I making all my money online? I wake up some morning, someone sends me money via email, via PayPal. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and someone says, hey Ted, do you want to do this? We'll pay you some money. Sometimes someone says, uh, hey Ted, do you want to come do this race? Like I'm just living in the tropics, doing races all the time, swimming, biking, running, making YouTube videos. I uh, somehow got a one year visa. I really don't even know how. It sounds stupid, but it's true. Like Even as it's happening, I don't know how. I just held the vision for so long and I just felt like I was in the tropics for so long. You know, I was eating all this tropical fruit back in Canada. I was wearing shorts in the winter time just to, you know what? Like, spit the stake in the ground and be like, I am gonna be in the tropics. I'm either gonna freeze to death in Canada or I'm one of the tropics. And of course I don't wanna freeze to death. So eventually, you get yourself between a rock and a hard place and you take off. You're like, screw it, I'm out of here. You break down the walls because you absolutely have to. So that was me in Canada, I absolutely had to get out. And uh, you burn your bridges, you burn your bridges. And um, like there's, there's no plan B as Will Smith says. You don't have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. My plan A was just come to the tropics, be a digital nomad, help people live the lifestyle of their dreams, and be a fruitarian eating the highest quality fruit on the planet while help, while hanging out with like really like-minded people, other fruitarians, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It's exactly what I'm doing. So first, create the vision for yourself internally. Internalize that vision so then you can focus on it at will whenever you want to. You don't want to rely on something outside of yourself. You don't need external validation. You don't want an external focus point. You want something internal that you can carry with you at all times, whether you're on the bus, whether you're going for a walk, whether you're running, whether you're hanging out with a friend, whether you're about to go to sleep. You just close your eyes, you think about it. You don't need to close your eyes. You can just imagine. You look at your hands, you say, this is the hand of someone who lives in the tropics. This is the hand of a fruitarian. These are the arms of a triathlete who wins races. You look at your body, like these knees are the knees of someone who runs a sub 20 minute 5K. You look around you and you're like, yeah, the, the, the person, the, the healthiest person on the planet definitely would have that fruit in stock right there. They would have dragon fruits, they would have mangoes, they would have bananas, just like I have, because I am the healthiest person in the world. So, this is how it's done, guys. And this is what you already do. You're perhaps just focused in another direction that you don't really want to be heading in. M maybe you are heading in a better direction, but really, if you get really laser clear, focus clear, crystal clear on what it is you, where you want to go, what it is you want, you'll head in that direction because it'd be so much fo more focused in that direction because it feels so good to focus on that. Don't worry about the how. You're never gonna find out. I still don't know how I'm living in Thailand. So if you're waiting until you find out how before you go and do something, you're gonna be waiting until you're a skeleton. You're gonna be waiting until you're dead. You know, you ask any of the uh, any of the gold medalists how it happened, and they're just like, I just really wanted it. I just really went for it. And one thing led to another. I didn't know who my coach was gonna be. I didn't know any of the training sessions we were gonna do. I didn't know any of my competition. I didn't know where the Olympics was gonna be even held. I didn't know how fast I was gonna have to run or swim or bike to, to win the gold medal. I just knew I wanted it and I went for it. So even once they got the gold medal, they didn't really know how. They only know how in hindsight. So that's it guys. Hope you got something from this video. Peace out, Fruit Living from Chiang Mai. Adios. Thank you.